This is a teardown of an old uh, circa 1984 Radio Corporation of America uh, closed circuit television camera. On the back, the only connections are these, or this little, uh, or this two-pin terminal block. That's the 24 volts AC in, and a um, BNC jack for uh, video up. Inside, there's the transformer, which supplies all the various uh, supply potentials used by the camera. And another thing to note is that often early cameras like this used the um, uh, mains electricity uh, 60 uh, cycle, usually 24 volts, but some are 120 volt as a very simple means of providing synchronization because early video multiplexers would not handle or couldn't handle asynchronous video inputs. So that's just a little bit of a something to note. Then there's the camera tube. It's a um, RCA 4848 Viticon. No lens attached at the moment. And of course a little T1 and 3 quarter red idiot, idiot light that just tells that it's operating. Inside there are the connections for the yoke, which is under this uh, metal shield. Uh, there might be some uh, mu metal in there as well, just for electromagnetic uh, shielding. There's this connector here, which connects to the back of the Viticon, and which allows for the tube to be replaced, because again, old stuff like this was actually designed to be fixed. And again, that is the connection for the yoke. Down there is a... Um, UA a, uh, it's a UA 78 MGU1C that is a four pin adjustable potential regulator and that is a, a, that is its adjustment pot there's this chip I can't find anything on it it's a 4708-1 made by Radio Corporation of America because of course they also made the camera and there's also a chip, a 4709 over there. Judging by the sequential part numbers, that's probably, those two are a Viticon driver chip set, most likely. And then there's this Dip8 device that is a uh, RC4558N. That is just an operational amplifier. And there's that thing, which is possibly, I'm guessing because I don't see another one, that might be a flyback coil for... Um, or for part of the uh, uh, supply circuit for the um, anode supply potential for the Viticon. And anything else, there's a number of adjustment trim pots like that, which is focus, and I'm guessing the TAR is target. There's those two down there uh, labeled FET bias resp, so those are probably... Um, bias adjustments for a field effect transistor and there's this one VC that might be for adjusting drive potential or VP or VC and VS those are probably uh, potential drive adjustments for the um, Viticon and what else is there of interest in here there's a couple of unpopulated positions, probably for auxiliary video out, sound, stuff like that. That's a set of four diodes, that's, judging by its proximity to the transformer, that's almost certainly a great bridge. And judging by the two parallel wired, or the two, um, the arrangement of these two uh, electrolytics, that is probably configured in such a way so that it provides a positive potential and a negative potential because you can do that by hooking up the, by this which is probably a center tap transformer by just hooking up the center tap as your neutral and then each of the two outer legs of the secondary going to the uh, two AC inputs of the grayest bridge that gives a positive potential and a negative potential that's one way of doing it without needing a, without needing to increase the component count. And other than that, in the range of miscellaneous passives and other stuff, there's that's pretty much it.